Carl Russell. This is Dr. Fraser Crane. I'm listening. Our favorite radio psychiatrist could be coming uh, back we'll for see. a reboot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where would Fraser be now? Oh, well, this is something we've been discussing. Well, I admit we, we have wondered where he might be. But he left for Chicago in the last episode of the show. So we have to deal with that, at least. I mean, he left to go be with his lady love, who probably didn't stay with him. But, right. You know, so we may see, but see a time. Some, we'll some see. evolution has taken place. Right. I don't want to play Fraser and go back to Seattle. I mean, it would be silly. She hates me. Frankly, I can't blame her. I've been a therapist now for four months, so I want to give you my professional opinion for free. It's all your fault. In Kelsey's new Netflix movie, Like Father, co-starring Kristen Bell, his character is now the one needing a little professional help. I was left at the altar a few days ago, and my dad, who I haven't seen since I was five, showed up to my wedding, unannounced. E.T. was with the on-screen father-daughter duo at the Netflix Summer of Love press day to get the scoop on their latest roles. So tell me what it was like just working together on such an interesting project. I really liked the role because it, she was a woman who thought she knew who she was. There was a lot of dynamic stuff to her personality and she has this sort of heartache about being abandoned by her father and is faced with the decision of confronting him and deciding whether or not she should forgive him and that is, for, as a character arc, you couldn't really ask for anything better than that. Are you gonna go on pretending you're still fine with what happened the other day? I don't really care what you think and I don't need you or anyone else worrying about me. You really dug deep into this one emotionally, and as someone who's had a lot of personal tragedies, how has this role been for you? Yeah, um, it's interesting. There have been a lot of personal tragedies in my life. I think they just always come along for the ride with you, you know, mm -hmm. if you've lived that way, and then uh, if that's the life you've had. So it's honestly not so much digging deep, it just kind of is there. Wow. It just comes out. 